Welcome to Modern Plastics TV, the first and largest online TV for the plastics and polymer industry, voice of global plastics industry since 2013. Everybody talk bad about plastics, and here we are going to talk. Plastics is fantastic. You see a lot of news. Most of them are fake. Today here with me, Mr. Dominic Field from Plastic is Fantastic. He will talk about, you know. what is the current trend and scenario happening and how we can keep the world clean and usable for the next generation could you please tell us about little about plastic is fantastic what do you do and uh, you know how plastic is becoming fantastic everybody talk plastic is not good ban it so how plastic is going to becoming fantastic for sure i would even say plastic is already very fantastic material right but I want to give a little bit more of a context how we started. So, uh, the association was initiated by Alpla, and because we got like so much headwind from the media, right? As you said before, plastic has not a very good reputation, and hence we started like to really communicate about it. And in the beginning, it was just a very small local campaign, and uh, this was like. started in Poland this was our test market and, and then we found out yeah this end consumer campaigns what we are doing they are highly highly effective and we got like in a very very short time frame a lot of followers a lot of impressions and then we decided yeah we want to bring it to like uh, to many other countries so currently we have like uh, 23 countries where we have campaigns running they are not under plastic 23 countries already oh, yeah 23 already, yeah. countries but they are not like under the name of plastic is fantastic Plastic is fantastic. It was coming later. So back in the days when I just explained you when, when we have started, this was the name was a voice, a voice for plastic packaging. And because we are now in the 23 countries, right? We said we're doing such a, a great job in end, educating the end consumers. Now we want to bring other industry partners on board, and then we decided also look for a name that is, yeah. progressive i would say plastic is fantastic as you said many people think plastic actually is not a, a great material and yeah we we decided to go with this name because plastic is very fantastic in many many applications so over like uh, 95% of the times in through like 16 industries it's the best material we have right and uh, yeah and then we we said let's go with plastic is fantastic in summer this summer we then founded a association that resides in vienna and yeah now we look for industry partners that can grow with us the campaign and yeah work together with us and also have in mind that plastic is fantastic what are you doing here doing the show because i yeah. saw you know you are doing some promotion with uh, you know uh, some unique promotion what you are doing here yeah. and i would like to know what are you doing here to expand mm -hmm. on the sustainability and circular economy okay so as i said is is plastic is fantastic is like mainly focused on like end, uh, end consumer communication and this is what we do right and here what we try to do is obviously get some new members on board so we have already like super powerful companies out of the industry that are super very active in in the circular economy uh, already and and all the true believers in this and this is what we try to do like really to make plastic is fantastic familiar to the industry that's why we're here in the north entrance that everyone that comes in yeah goes steps by so edu those... educating the even the common man and the for sure. people that's, who are yeah. coming and and this is also a very important input because also we as alpla in the beginning right so we were always in our communication style super technical and when you talk to an end consumer it needs to be simple understandable and And, and this is super super important right and this mindset we as an industry normally don't have so we have we are like engineers we are very technical and so it's hard for like an engineer to understand why we should we like communicate in a very short and and, and easy understandable way and this is what we bring to the table like making things simple and push 
the circular economy with our information and, and, and giving the confidence back also to the industry, basically. What is your take on sustainability and circular economy globally and yeah. like uh, developing countries like India? How do mm -hmm. you see? No, that's uh, that's uh, super, super important. Also, when I now speak for Alpa, not for plastic, it's fantastic. Because in Alpa, we have all, already uh, many plants and we are super, super active there. And this is a, a super important topic because circular economy is also the key for our communication at the end of the day, right? So without the circular economy, we don't get the bottles back and then they land in rivers or just in the nature, what is very, very bad. That's where the, the bad reputation comes yeah. from, basically, yeah. right? And so uh, without the circular economy, we cannot like, yeah, cannot like keep plastic in the loop. And that's very, very important to also talk to governments, to like policymakers, that they understand the importance of this. And there we are very, very active. And but for us, it's very hard uh, as Alpha or, or difficult because from the whole value chain, the collection system is the only one that we cannot like influence. Basically, it's yeah. always like installed by our governments or whatever. And so this is key to talk about the functional circular economy, about sustainability and plastic. As I said before, in the most cases, it's the most sustainable material we have. But everyone thinks it's the villain out there. It's bad. Yeah. This is what we want to change, right? No, as, uh, as you know, we were speaking to many, you cannot live without plastics. No. This I was talking for many years, like healthcare, automotive, household. 100%. You go anything and everything, you need plastics. And once you say plastic is not good after using the plastics, how do you see plastic is fantastic in the coming uh, 10 years, down the line 10 years? In the, yeah, what, what we want to build up is obviously first like a footprint within the industry and, and make it like familiar to the industry that everyone like really understands our mission. But I would say like in, in, in five to 10 years, yeah, we, plastic is fantastic to be recognized as a global movement, right. also very well known then in India, hopefully. And people, when they look for like evidence around plastic, that they really reconnect with plastic is fantastic and is, is a resource for the industry. That's super important for us, right? What message do you want to give it to industry and the common man? Because uh, the common man, the problem is waste management. Waste management. Yeah. So. No, there are like uh, two, uh, many, uh, uh, many topics that we could cover, but uh, one of the most important topics for me is again, like uh, the, the circle economy and that plastic in general is not a bad material. It's how we handle it in many countries is bad, right? This is one important element. But also what's important for end consumers, that plastic does a great job in terms of also affordability when you compare to other materials. So we can supply the global population with our plastic products, with Alpla, but also many other things, right? Even this camera would not work without plastic that's it's filming now, your right. mobile phone, whatever, right? And, and this is super important that we should always look at the facts and we always should like to recognize the importance of plastic for our daily life. That's super, super important. And uh, what message you want to give it to the common man who is using the plastics? Yeah, uh, inform yourself first what material you use, right? And yeah, use and uh, make wise choices. What you use in terms of affordability and in terms of usability and handling advantages, because Plastic offers tremendous advantages in terms of like usability and handling advantages. So it doesn't shatter and break like other materials, right? It's much lighter, it's more convenient, but always like, yeah, try to keep the material in the loop and, and, uh, and use it wisely, right? That's super important. Thank you so much for joining Modern Plastics TV here at Dusseldorf. It is a pleasure to be with you and understand about plastic is fantastic. And the future of plastic is also fantastic. Use wisely so that it will come into the loop and circular economy. We wish you all the best at K2025. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for the interview.